electric steam locomotives. There were electric steam locomotives. What the? Hi there, welcome back to the new Weird Trains video and today I'll be talking about the Swiss electric steam locomotives. The story starts in Switzerland where they have no natural resources of coal but they do have a lot of hydroelectricity thanks to the mountainous region. Hydroelectricity is a form of electricity that is produced thanks to dams. Anyways, because of this 2191 kilometers of Switzerland's rail network was electrified at the outbreak of the second world kerfuffle, whilst the price of imported German coal kept rising. In an attempt to save on coal, the Swiss Federal Railways fitted two small E3-3 shunters, number 8521 and number 8522, with pantographs. Power was taken from the overhead wires and fed to the heating elements via two transformers rated together at 480 kilowatts, both engines went in service in 1943. They could run up to 20 minutes without power supply once the boiler had been charged to full pressure. The firebox was retained, usually keeping hot embers with a classic fire for longer operation on non-electrified tracks. The water circulation pump, the control circuit and the lighting were powered by a battery that was charged from a rectifier fed by one of the transformers. The system was capable of producing about 300 kilograms of steam per hour at 12 atm pressure. It weighed about 7 tons increasing the weight of the locomotive from 35 to 42 tons and allowed a saving of between 700 to 1200 kilograms of coal per working day and bringing the locomotive to pressure took about one hour. Sadly, because this kind of engine was only really a viable option under specific conditions, the engines weren't like this for too long. Eight years later, in 1951, number 8521 lost its electric heaters and 8522 lost its in 1953. One of these locomotives Number 8522 is preserved at the Surcee Tringen Railway. Well, that was certainly an interesting type of locomotive and I'll be honest, I was a bit skeptical when I first heard about these engines, but apparently they were pretty successful. It just wasn't logical to keep them in service after the war in that state. Now, you might have your own opinion if the SBB solution was smart brilliant or completely bonkers, but I think we can all say these were some weird trains. <laughs> 